Good evening, Capricorn ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I'd like to do is to go in and just give you your reading. And basically, this is more of a year-end reading, okay? And I'm going to cover a variety of errors tonight. And um, not to just limit it to just romance, but I'll cover any error that appears here in your gypsy spread, okay? i like to first start off by just welcoming any new viewers or subscribers to my channel. I certainly appreciate your subscriptions. And to you veteran Capricorns, welcome back, okay? i like to start off by saying that this reading is not going to resonate for every Capricorn out there, okay? So just keep that in mind as we're, you know, doing this here. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope that it does offer you food for thought here, okay? I'm going to start off with just looking at um, a few of your uh, your goddess oracle cards here just to just get a, a general feel. And this is solely connected to your romantic type situation here. OK, I'm seeing here that you have this compassion uh, energy there or goddess here. And with that card, that's suggesting to me that many of you have been worrying a lot. You've been very doubtful, very fearful particularly surrounding the romantic type situation here. And this card is assuring you that the person loves you unconditionally, okay? It also assures you that goddess loves you unconditionally as well. And you are, in fact, being held here. You know, you are not alone in your situation here, ladies and gentlemen, here, because it looks like that the spirits are really helping you. And I'm seeing that this is going to be a very auspicious turn of events that seems to about to occur here. All right. But since you also have this harmony goddess there, it is kind of suggesting to me that perhaps many of you may have allowed your relationship to kind of get off track. And I'm seeing that you're going to be restoring balance and particularly an existing situation. Or for you singles out there, I certainly see that you're going to be restoring balance in your life as well with, you know, you're going to be meeting, you know, a new person I'm kind of getting here. All right. So during this time span in question, let this goddess here, this goddess of generosity, allow you to flow with the process. And that's what she's asking you to do. Just to flow with the process, ladies and gentlemen, and just to let go and let God. And what I'm seeing here with these um, um, heart-shaped cards here, the message on this card is that when it comes to matters of the heart, ladies and gentlemen, understand that there is certainly no right or wrong. Every choice you make really expands your understanding, you know, of life as well as with love. And I feel that, you know, you guys know how to resolve any difficulties that you're facing because deep in your heart, you already know the answer. So try to do what feels right for you. All right. So now let's go on and just get right on into your gypsy reading and see what other information we can glean out of this here. To just add any additional information to your romantic situation as well as to see if any other um, information comes out in other areas. Okay. So let me explain this reading for you guys so you can understand. There are only 25 cards, you know, with this Gypsy Oracle deck here. And basically, it's all like, almost like a puzzle. You have to connect the symbols here. And depending upon the orientation in which the picture falls, determines your interpretations. It's not just an upright and reverse type of interpretations. It's four different types of variations that you can glean from each of these symbols here all right so let's look at your first symbol ladies and gentlemen you have a lot of pictures so that tells me up front that a lot of radical changes are going to be coming about for you guys you know this reading i'm seeing here almost look just as identical to the virgo reading here all right so i'm seeing a lot of promising things coming up for you guys so let's start with this first symbol we have the clover and that falls in the first position, which is a very good position here. This symbol is all about luck. So it seems to suggest here that a wish is definitely going to materialize for you. And it's going to make you very happy. It's something that you really want to happen in getting. 
And it could include meeting the one that's the right for you or, you know, uh, strengthening an existing situation or perhaps even some of you might even be, you know, searching for a new job here. And this certainly is showing you that it's certainly possible or even to, in fact, stop various addictions. OK. Your next symbol that we have here that we're going to examine is the Cavalier. All right. So with the Cavalier, that card is symbol is all about news and it falls within the second position. So it seems that this is going to be unexpected news that's going to be coming towards you here. And I'm feeling that people in higher places or in higher uh, like authority type figures I'm getting, they're going to be very helpful to you during this time in question as well. All right. And with this Cavalier. For those of you who are interested in, in fact, meeting a new person, it certainly seems that one is certainly on its way for you, um, um, his or her way, all right? And then you have the handshake, ladies and gentlemen. That falls in the third position. So, of course, there are two hands there. So, it's all about a situation between two people here, all right? But since it's in the third position, remember, there are four positions, and as you you know, kind of move on down the ladder here. And the position weakens here. So this is all about a situation that you're involved with. You know, you seem to be involved with someone. This is more of an existing type situation I'm getting. And that situation with this, you know, position kind of suggests that it might be a bit in danger here if you don't kind of put in more effort, you know. Because I feel that those of you who are in an existing situation, I feel that you've been really working so much or you're just doing so many other things that you're losing sight on what you already have here, you know, at your home here, you know, and um, maybe some of you may have possibly gotten bored with routine here. And this symbol is asking you to tell you or kind of warning you to try to figure out what you can do to kind of make things better because, of course, if you are constantly neglecting someone, they're going to find other things to, to, to do here. It's almost a sense where that, you know, that let's say that this person has an animal, a cat or even a dog. So it's almost just as if the cat or the dog is giving them more time than what you are, ladies and gentlemen. So clean it up. <laughs> okay. So, you know, understand that this person is always there. We can certainly go back to what this card is saying, is that you are loved unconditionally, okay? So give this person a bit more attention for those of you who are, in fact, in an existing type situation, all right? Let's look at your next picture, all right? You have the crayfish. So with the crayfish, that falls in position two, and of course, that's all about coping with what life or the cards that you've been dealt or coping with fate here, all right? So I feel that many of you really want something so badly. It looks like you're just impatient about things, you know, about receiving the things that you want here. Things sometimes take time here. And it seems that this symbol is kind of telling you that when destiny is ready to give you what you want, it is, you know, you don't have to keep trying to push for results here of kind of getting. You need to let go and let God, all right? And then you have the owl, all right? So with the owl, that also falls in position three, ladies and gentlemen. So it certainly shows that there may be, maybe perhaps temporary problems with immediate projects here. So I feel that some of you may be working on a project or it could be you might be writing something or you just want to just, you just so much in a rush to kind of get it completed. I'm kind of feeling here. So this symbol is telling you to kind of think the situation a bit through more, you know, closely before you produce the final product here. All right. Next here, ladies and gentlemen, you have a fox, the fox there. So, of course, with the fox, you know, the fox always is usually about some type of deception here. So it seems that someone is around you who appears to be commonly deceiving you, all right? 
Now, this would kind of, you know, fall in several areas of your life. It could be a lover that's doing this. It could be an employee, an employer or something. Or, or it could be, like I said, someone with whom you conduct business. In any event, there doesn't appear to be any evil intent that, intent that I'm kind of getting here. You know, it's kind of telling you to just be a bit more cautious around this person. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to help you unmask this person, all right? So we have um, 200 letters here in this bag. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pick 20 letters because you guys have a fairly good reading. We know that, you know, particularly about your romantic situation, you need to improve if you already are in an existing situation. Improve that. Or you're going to just be meeting someone new with whom you can have a very good connection, okay? So let's go on and just kind of help you with unmasking, you know, someone that you might need to be around whom you need to be cautious, okay? I'm going to pull 20 letters, and I'm going to let you know what the letters are. So Spirit, please let Capricorn know the person around whom they may want to be a bit more vigilant, okay? So let's see here. All right, we have an E, an F, an A, an M, a T, okay, an N, a Y. An A, okay, four more letters, we have an R, we have another R, an E, another E, Another E. <laughs> uh, we have an, an S. Okay. And another E. <laughs> e seems to be very significant, huh? And we have an L. All right, let me see how many letters we have. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Four more, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to call them all back to you. Four more letters, four more letters, four, four more letters, all right. We have a K, an I, okay, another I, and the last letter is another I. All right, so let me repeat them back to you so you can have them. And ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind that this can spell their first, middle, or even, you know, kind of part portions of their last name or a nickname or something, but just really be vigilant around this person. So let me call them back. We have one, two, three, four. We have five E's, and E's might be very significant for some of you. We have an S. There are three I's, an R, two R's actually. There's a K, an L, L, F A Y N T M, and then we have an A. All right. So I'm gonna go in and just you know see move on to your next symbol here, and again keep those uh, initials in mind, ladies and gentlemen, as you move through this time span. All right. So let's go on and just look at you know your last card here to just give you a, a general encapsulation of what I'm kind of feeling in terms of. What's really coming towards you here? We have the bridge, all right? So with the bridge that shows, as I admitted from the beginning, is that a radical change of lifestyle is coming towards you. And what this includes is an ending of one phase and a commitment, commencement of another. Some of you might even get married, you know, or you may even make plans to do so. Or you may kind of discover that you're pregnant or have a child. Even a new job or promotion, you know, all of those things are possible, all right? 
And then you have this ship here. So the ship there is all about finance as well as adventure. So I'm feeling that an inheritance of some sort may be, in fact, coming your way. Some type of winnings, all right? Maybe a bonus or and a commission. But I'm seeing some type of money coming towards you. So this is a good time frame for you, Capricorn, and, you know, to take, like, concerted risks, okay? And then you have the bouquet there. And with the bouquet, that further emphasizes the fact that you're going to have great success in your affairs here. With the clover, it's all about luck, remember? And then last but not least, you have the knot. So this certainly shows that you've tied a very strong bond with someone here. And it seems that you have a connection that really transcends time and space, you know? And it's more of like a past life type connection. That's why this goddess is letting you know here that you are, in fact, love unconditionally, okay? So Capricorn, you know, if you could do anything, what in fact will it be? You know, understand that certainly the answer really dwells in your heart, not really in your mind. Because a heart is definitely the gateway to your soul. So let's review a few things that you might want to surrender or let go during this time frame in question, okay? Surrender to silence, ladies and gentlemen. Understand that in quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and really enter the stillness within you because silence can really heal as well as replenish you, ladies and gentlemen. Surrender to setting limits, okay? Understand that it's certainly healthy to really set boundaries in your relationship. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is always a complete sentence. Stop being a yes person, all right? Surrender, ladies and gentlemen, to the beauty of the natural world. And what this means is that try to take a relaxing break from time to time. You know, stop being Rip Van Wrinkle and get up off your butt and get outside <laughs> and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there, ladies and gentlemen. Surrender to your soul's path. Your life journey has been perfectly designed for your soul growth. Embrace every lesson as well as, ladies and gentlemen, every moment here. All right? And in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, what I like to say to you is that one thing that you might want to try to do or consider doing is that try not to look at things more from a feeling type perspective, you know? Again, what is your heart saying? Because really, if you look at life purely through logic, you're going to always get to the point where it seems to make no sense, right? So true wisdom and understanding does, in fact, or it, 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 it reside in your heart here, all right? And understand that I feel that a lover really feels you in their heart forever. Again, your love kind of transcends time and space. And you are a jewel, a sparkling diamond. You know? But I feel that in order for you to really kind of heal your relationship with another, you're going to first have to heal heal yourself. The relationship that you seem to have with yourself. You need to forgive yourself, Capricorn. Accept yourself. And by all means, love yourself. So Capricorn, this is what I have for you this evening. I, I certainly hope that this is all for food for thought. Be sure to like and share. And if you yet to subscribe, please sure to hit that button. Okay. If you like a more personal reading, please contact me at w um, at will dot brown at w a t consulting inc not dot net. And all of that data will be provided in the instruction box or description box. All right. Have a nice evening. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.